Good afternoon, Western Oregon sports fans, and welcome to this edition of Wolves Weekly. I'm joined again today by head volleyball coach Brad Sandin. Thank you, Brad, for joining me, and let's do the weekly routine, and let's go over your matches from last week. I want to hear a little bit about the two matches you had last week on the road, which actually everybody talks about Alaska Anchorage and Alaska Fairbanks being the most daunting road trip of the year. But as you mentioned, maybe this trip to central Washington and down to Northwest Nazarene might be even worse. Yeah, thanks, Danny. We, uh, as you said, we played central Washington on Thursday night uh, and then Northwest Nazarene in Nampa, Idaho. And I think actually that road trip may be the, the most difficult road trip for our institution. Uh, all of our teams are going to have to make that road trip at some point. This is the first time we've done it. They're uh, central Washington and in New York. Uh, travel partners in our newly relined conference this year so uh, it's the first time we've made that trip and it was it was pretty daunting it was difficult it's just hard to get to Ellensburg it's six hours on the bus uh, we left Wednesday afternoon missed all of practice Wednesday uh, never got anything going in that match uh, our worst match of the year by far uh, I told my team that I think Every team, regardless of who they are, if it's NFL, NBA, or Western Washington volleyball, every team maybe has one or two matches a year like that. We just never got anything going. And Central Washington was a very good team, and uh, we just they just took it to us. And uh, we were never really in that match. So it was disappointing, but hopefully we can learn from it. Uh, then Friday, we had the seven-hour bus ride down to Nampa, Idaho. Uh, had a really good practice late Friday night when we got in and uh, played uh, Northwest Nazarene on Saturday night. Uh, we played much better uh, in Nampa, uh, came out of there with a win, so I guess to split on that road trip is an okay thing. Uh, very disappointing that we uh, lost to Central because I think Western Oregon and Central are very evenly matched and I'm guessing we'll finish tied or next to each other in the conference standings at the end of the year, but uh, after a bad match on Thursday, we bounced back with a pretty good win on Friday and uh, had the long drive home on Sunday. And uh, so thankfully this week is, uh, it's our uh, travel partner week. We only have one match on Saturday, so for us that comes at a perfect time. And uh, we can talk about this week a little bit later. Okay, well, first of all, you were able to get that win over at NNU. And you had a couple people step up. You had a couple sophomores and a freshman as well as many other members of this team. But just tell me a little bit about some of the performances of some of your individuals at Northwest Nazarene. Yeah, you know, we, uh, we have been arduously working on our serving. And I bet we're spending close to half of our practice time serving and passing. And we had a great serving night on, uh, on Saturday night. We served uh, uh, 13 aces against NNU. I think I read in the report that it's the third highest ever in the history of the GNAC. Uh, Danny Reese had seven aces as an individual, which is an unbelievable score. I think she's now leading in the service aces in the conference. Uh, so we had a really good night serving. Uh, Danny Reese just continues to be our offensive leader. Uh, she was our kill leader, had another double-double. Uh, she's just a terrific volleyball player, and thank goodness we have her. It doesn't seem like her play fluctuates up and down that much. She's just pretty much going into every match, you know what we're going to get from, from Danny. We're going to get double digit kills and double digit digs and a bunch of service aces. So we're pretty happy the, with the way she's playing. Uh, Becky Bleese, as you mentioned, had another really good night. Uh, she was the second highest uh, uh, attack efficiency uh, hitter in that match and had a couple big blocks for us. Uh, I love seeing Becky do good things because she is uh, her celebration is just makes me laugh uh, and it's so energi energizing and when she does something good there's just this immediate surge of energy in our team just from the way she celebrates so it's pretty cool to see her doing well and uh, third Samantha Ward just continues to get better and better she's starting to become more comfortable as an outside hitter uh, as I've talked before we moved her uh, she was a middle hitter her whole volleyball career leading up to when she came to Western Oregon. So uh, she's getting better and better and more and more comfortable on the outside. And we had a really good performance uh, out of her as well. Well, after that one, as we said, you were able to get the win over at Northwest Nazarene. Moved you to 5-3 and three on the season. 
put you in fourth place in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. And we we'll just want to say that this is a very strong conference. And I just want you to tell us a little bit about that, um, both the teams at the top and just the strength of this overall league. Yeah, it is, uh, especially the top five teams or so are so evenly matched. And every night, uh, if we're not on our toes, we can get beat by anybody. Uh, as demonstrated, at, we squeaked a win out at Simon Frazier. Simon Frazier's near the bottom of our conference and almost beat us in, uh, at home. Uh, we struggled on the road against Central. But, uh, you know, SPU right now is the class of the conference. They're undefeated. They're ranked 12th this week. Uh, they have not been beat in the conference, obviously. Second is Western Washington. The only loss they have uh, to this point is against Alaska Anchorage. They play SPU this week, so pretty interested to see how that goes. Uh, both of those teams are ranked nationally. SPU, as I mentioned, is 12th. Western Washington is 19th. Uh, this week, Alaska Anchorage got uh, received votes again in the national poll, uh, even though both Central and us are ahead of them in the conference standings. Uh, as you mentioned, we're fourth right now. Uh, I'm not sure how I think about that. Preseason poll had a seventh, I think, so we're certainly performing better than what the coaches anticipated. But I think we're better than fourth in this conference, and we're not going to be very uh, happy finishing fourth. I think our standards are higher than that. Uh, but we're starting four freshmen. We're really young. Uh, it's a growing process, but uh, I think we have a really good chance to finish second uh, and, or third. Uh, we still get to play both SPU and Western Washington and Alaska Anchorage. Uh, so I like where we're at, and uh, I just want to continue to get better and grow as a team. Well, you'll have that first opportunity to grow as a team once again, as you mentioned, during your travel partner week. You only have one match this week, and it'll be at home in St. Martin's on Saturday, October 9th. Um, tell us a little bit about the advantages of having a, a not a bye week, but a travel partner week where you only have one match. Well, it's great for us. Uh, uh, we have only one match, as you mentioned, on Saturday, so we have uh, only one match to prepare for. None of our players have to miss school for travel or anything like that. Uh, they can just be normal students for a week. We have a, a, a whole week to prepare for only one team rather than preparing for two teams. Uh, we gave them Monday off just to recover from the trip, which is nice to be able to do that. Uh, and this, as I mentioned, this week comes at a perfect time for us. Uh, we can just kind of uh, rest a little bit and have some injuries uh, heal. But I also want to get a solid week of practice in. Uh, I want to get better. Next week on Thursday night, we play Western Washington. They are our rivals. It's the big match of the year for us. Well, I hope we get a big crowd out for that. Uh, Next Thursday night, new PE will be the place to be. So I hope we get a lot of people out for that match. Uh, and then Friday, uh, actually next week we play Thursday and Friday uh, so we can help accommodate the Saturday battle in Seattle with the football team. So Thursday we play Western Washington. Friday on the 15th we play Simon Fraser at home. Uh, so we have three home matches in a row. Uh, excited to be home and we need to It'd be great if we could win all three of these matches and keep us in the hunt. Well, as Coach Sandin mentioned, that Jim has been rocking this, this year for Western Oregon Volleyball. We hope to see you all out there for the coming three matches. There are still tickets available by calling the number you see right there on your screen. And just want to say, new PE is the place to be, and go Wolves! <laughs>